every little piece of land that I can step on in this place here has a meaning. Whether it's a stone, whether it's water, whether it's clay, it's all around here. My mum used to say to us kids, Harigai to hook it to repo, get the mahituna. Go down there and, and, and get some meals. So we'd go down where there was a sugar bag, maybe in an hour later we'd come back with a sugar bag full of eels. So eels were in fact plentiful down there. Kiwai, all down there. Uh, fresh water mussels were all down there. There was so much food around. In fact, Ngatika, who had a reputation as being a hapu of supporting people when they came through, now I don't think I've had an eel over there for the last 10 years. When we were kids, you, you couldn't see anything down there because it was just covered in uh, manuka and then they burnt it all. And it was the stuff underneath the ground that was burning. The farmers saw that as uh, an economic uh, development uh, project that would set them up, and that's what you've got down there. So it's taken away most of the, the patakakai there. But those were the kai, and then of course I spoke about um, the birds, you know, the um, the kiriru, the pigeons and stuff like that over in the forest. And there was a story that I heard when I was a kid that um, each family had a particular area over in that bush. And I heard my dad tell the story. There was a white bird in, inside the bush. And if the white bird flew out and landed in your middle tree, all the pigeons would follow. And then you just took what you need and it flew away. Now that might be a story hard to believe, but two years ago, what did the ranger find in Pukenui? He found a white Mopo. 